accolades and has managed to remain top of the pile for over 25 years with classic international hits like You've Been Talking In Your Sleep and Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue. Crystal Gale has just released a new album. It's called Someday and before we talk, here she is performing the title track. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much for coming today, because I know you're not feeling on top form, are you? Oh, a bit of a cold? A little bit, yeah. I think that, I brought it from home, though. <laughs> that must be a worry if you're a singer. Do you get anxious about it? It uh, definitely is very difficult. Uh, when you're a singer, you get... I get very nervous, you know. It's like, oh, I can't get sick. I hear there's one piece of fruit that you will never eat. Oranges, is that right? Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> definitely when I'm performing, I don't. I was in uh, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, working um, here as a casino there. They have great dinner shows and uh, theater there. 
And in between the shows, I was doing two, two concerts, I had uh, gotten choked on just eating the, um, an orange. And when I went out that, that night, from the very first song, my, my, throat, my voice just was leaving. Really? I couldn't because, of the, voice. because of an orange, that's amazing. I it? guess the acid, I don't know, got on the vocal cord, but um, from the very first song, when I couldn't hit that high note, I knew something is wrong. That must be a nightmare. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. <laughs> Well, you recovered, obviously. Um, you came from the, the classic sort of country background, didn't you? I mean, your dad, dad was a miner, and there were eight of you. Was that a real struggle financially? Well, you know, uh, I am the last out of eight. My father, a coal miner. Uh, but we moved to Wabash, Indiana, uh, when I was about four. And uh, so I grew up with a, you know, a mill worker, you know, factory worker as well as a coal miner. But, um, you know, we never really thought of ourselves as being poor. You know, my mother never, you know, she said she always had food on the table and a roof over her head, and so it wasn't like um, anything was wrong. And I really didn't look back on my childhood as being poor. It must make you appreciate the success that you get, though, I would imagine. It, it does. You know, I, I appreciate all that I've had. You know, I've, I've been blessed with so much. You know, I've, I've had so much good luck, you know, that's uh, good people behind me that... Uh, you know, I've had too much luck. Yeah, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> now, of course, you, your sister, Loretta Lynn, obviously hugely successful um, herself, um, her struggle through her abusive relationship was immortalised in the film The Coal Miner's Daughter. You've been a lot luckier in your relationship, haven't you? Well, you know, to me, um, I had my sister to look at and say, you know, that don't do this or that. Um, and just, I mean, she would tell me don't do certain things uh, because this is what's going to happen to you. And, and I did see my sister... She would work herself until she would go into the hospital just to rest. And I, I realized, hey, I don't really care to go in hospitals that much. You know? <laughs> I can, you know, work myself, you know, and then I know when I need to take that break. Mm. But, I mean, your relationships, well, you've been together years and years. Oh, and we, years. yes, my um, husband. And he's your and I, manager. My husband, Bill. We, we've been married uh, 25 years. Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, it's, it's all in in the relationship, you know, the, the people that, uh, um, I mean, Loretta and Mooney had a, a wonderful years together. You know, Loretta's husband just recently passed away, and uh, that was been very hard on her. Mm -hmm. But uh, she is um, coming around. She's in the studio recording and, and actually doing some dates, so we're, we're happy that uh, she's, you know, coming, uh, getting things together for us. Right. So. Country music's changed a hell of a lot since you first started out, really, hasn't it? I mean, it's, apart from anything else, it's, it's crossed over big time. I mean, it's majorly mainstream these days. And it seems, uh, for the women involved, it's much less kind of stand by your man and, and more kind of stand up for yourself. Do, do you think that's true, the way women handle themselves? I think uh, definitely it's a, it's a little bit of this, um, you know, I'm going to, like you say, stand up for myself. But, you know, I think, uh, to me, in country music, it's really what... Um, what the song, if it feels good and if it's about a relationship or if it's being, um, you know, standing more for the, the women's rights, that's okay. I think they're all looking for a hit song, you know. I don't think they're really <laughs> looking for the idea, you know, if, it, if it's going to be number one, they don't really care what it says. Do you always know when you've got a hit on your hands? Um, no, you never know. Uh, I knew when I recorded Don't and Make My Brown Eyes yeah. Blue that um, that was a very special song. And I knew that I wanted it out as my very first single. Wow. Because I, I knew that uh, if I didn't record it and, and push it out there, someone was going to take it from my album. And, uh, but I, I finally talked the, the record company into it, and I'm glad I did. Yeah, I'll say. I've been singing it all day. It's very embarrassing, actually. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't overhear me. Um, have your children inherited your, your vocal cords, do you think? Well, they're, they're both pretty musical. We'll see. Um, Catherine does have a very pretty voice, very soprano. Um, that's my daughter, she's 13, and she has hair that is very curly, that stands out yeah, to here. It's not like yours at all, No, then. no, nothing like mine. And it's, um, a blonde, and then my, wow. my son really has hair like, like mine. I mean, it's but not as long as yours, I would think. No, he would, if, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever measured it? Because it's right uh, down you to know, your ankles, isn't I, it? Yeah, I, I cut it all the time, you know, I trim it back a lot. Because uh, if I let my hair grow without trimming through the years, I mean, it would be trailing. Extraordinary. It must, I, must be quite tricky to look after, though. You get it trapped it is, in things. You know, I, it, it attracts a lot. It, but I get it caught. I've lost so much just from 
you know, buttons from <laughs> doorknobs, you know, it's like I go through a door but I'm pulled back, you know. <laughs> Oh, look, thanks ever so much for coming in and singing for oh, us today. And uh, good pleasure. luck with the throat. You would never know. Thank you. And um, as I mentioned earlier, Crystal's uh, new album's out now. It's called Someday, and it's available from Monday on the Ritz record label. Stay with us, because after the break, Flora Simon Lysett is going to be knocking up some medieval-inspired table decorations. And we're going to meet a man who's been very physical with half the animal kingdom, all for a good reason, though. That's after this. <laughs>